We definitely have, this is the quill of a I mean of a, uh, of a porcupine that literally we found sticking in the ground like that. I mean, no jokes. This is how we walked down this game path and in the middle of the game path we found a collection of porcupine quills with one of them sticking in the ground and it's quite a mystery as to exactly what transpired. Now, we don't see porcupines often because they're strictly nocturnal. But porcupines do make up quite a large portion of the diet of leopard in some areas in the country, especially the drier areas of uh, South Africa. In this particular area, although we do see leopard and lion feasting on porcupine, it's not that common occurrence. And so when we see something like this, it's always a bit of a mystery as to why. The initial impression is, oh, but a leopard or a lion was trying to catch a porcupine and the porcupine shed some of its quills in order to get away. And that allows me to explain a little bit about porcupine quills. Now, there's a, oh, there's a um, belief out there that porcupines can shoot these quills at a would-be predator. You can have a look at how tremendously robust these are. Have a look at the, how sharp those points are. And they can do a lot of damage to a lion or a leopard. And yes, very often we do see leopard and lion with quills straight through their face, straight through their lips, into the roof of their mouth. But porcupine can't shoot their quills. What they do is the quills are, are lodged uh, on an erectile muscle in a bag of skin around their bodies. And they can, using that erectile muscle, they can spread their quills on their body. And then they can reverse very quickly at a, at a predator. So the, they'll put their head into a bush and when they know the predator's behind them, they reverse very quickly and the, the, the barbs or the quills stick in the predator and then are pulled out and this is maybe what happened here is that a lion or a leopard has come along with a couple of barbs in their face and in pulling it out they've shed these quills here and let these quills drop onto the floor I can't see any tracks around here except for impala tracks and because of that there's also a good there's also a good chance that the porcupine had a bit of a, a, uh, an altercation with the impala. Not that the impala would eat the porcupines at all. What probably happened was the impala came around the porcupine and then he shuffled around and in the madness and the chaos of trying to get away, he lost some of his quills. But just have a look at this collection of quills that is lying just here. None of them have got bite marks in. I'm just having a look now. So I don't think that they were embedded, and none of them got blood on. So I don't think they were embedded in the face of a leopard or of a, of a lion. I think they were just shed. But what is interesting is this particular quill here hasn't split just yet. So it's a, it's a double quill that's ended up in a single point. Now these quills are just really just hair that has, uh, has been fused together into these fairly flexible but quite strong uh, quills. I mean, from that point of view, they're very strong. Now, Tim has just asked me an interesting question. Um, could you use these as arrows? I suppose you could. I suppose I'd rather use the point, say, in a dart of some sort, um, in a blowpipe, um, rather than an arrow. I think to go into something as thick-skinned as an impala or a kudu, you're going to need something a little bit more robust, say a piece of stone or a piece of uh, bone, um, or if you can, a piece of steel uh, as an arrow tip rather than a porcupine quill, but definitely porcupine quill I would use in a blowgun of some sort. I mean, you can see there, if you chopped off this particular porcupine quill there, and you put a stick in it and wound some cotton around that, some wild cotton, you could definitely put that into a pipe and you could shoot it out. I'm sure it'll do some damage. That is incredibly sharp there. Look at my finger as a comparison there. 